Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Vendor killed man injured in St. Mary Market gun attack. A 39-year-old vendor of Dean Spen in St. Mary was shot dead on Saturday in the Highgate Market, while another man was wounded. Reporters understand that around 3.20 p.m. during the busy market hours, Shelton Watson, otherwise known as Nan, was in the market gambling when a lone gunman approached him and opened fire at him. The shooting resulted in chaos as vendors and shoppers sought cover. The gunman reported the escape on foot. It was later discovered that a mute man named Colin Chin has also received a gunshot wound to his leg. Both men were taken to hospital, where Watson succumbed to his injuries while Chin was treated and sent home. No motive for the shooting has been revealed. The Agate police are investigating. Bodies of three unidentified men found in St. James community. Members of the St. James Police Division are investigating the murder of three unidentified men whose bodies were discovered in the community of Mount Zion in the Paris Saturday night. A senior police official told reporters that the police are theorizing that the men were killed and their bodies dumped in the area. One of the men was clad in grey shorts and sports a low-cut hair, while the other two were wearing jean shorts and sporting carnival hairstyles. Corrections Department gets interim head as Commissioner retires. The Department of Correctional Services is to get a new head as its commissioner has retired. Lieutenant Colonel retired Gary Rowe served from April 11, 2019 to May 11, 2023. The department says Deputy Commissioner Dr. Mark Thomas will act in the position until a new commissioner is named. Alville Moore, Chief Probation Aftercare Officer, will act as Interim Deputy Commissioner. The department thanked Rowe for four years of leadership. Labor Ministry staff bid farewell to Carl Samuda. News have emerged that Carl Samuda is reported to be leaving the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. In a post on its Instagram account, the minister stated that Samuda bid farewell to Permanent Secretary Colette Roberts Wiston and its executive team. All the best minister read the post. However, there has been no information from the Office of the Prime Minister about a change in leadership at the Labor Ministry. Samuda was appointed Labour and Social Security Minister for almost three years. Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced changes to the composition of the Senate with the appointment of a former journalist, Fitz Headley, and finance executive, Dr. Donna Morris Dixon. This was made possible with the resignation of Natalie Campbell Rodriguez and Leslie Campbell. Fitz Headley and Dixon were sworn in. Hanover Police to get tougher on gunmen. With five murders and numerous reported cases of shooting, Superintendent Sharon B. Put, the police commander for Hanover, says the police in the parish will be stepping up their efforts to put an end to the rampant lawlessness, which is undermining the police effort to make the parish safe. While delivering her report at the Thursday's monthly meeting at the Hanover Municipal Corporation, B. Put admitted that the crime situation in the parish is out of cynic with her desire to make the parish safe and that she intend to use every tool at her disposal to end the lawlessness. It's never good for me to report on any situation, such as murders, because that is something that we do not want to hear about, but it is actually happening, and we the police have to take some drastic actions, stated B. Pud. She went on to the drastic actions are taken, and I do not want you people to be uncomfortable. I want you all to work with the police, because based on all that I am going to report on here, there will be actions coming. I am not here to see what type of actions, as my superiors will do that. We put went on to name Green Island, Codwell, Hopewell, Macquarie, and Sandy Bay as the communities that are of paramount concern as it relates to rampant criminality. She said that, at present, the police are maintaining a strong presence in those areas, and she is urging law abiding citizens to support the efforts of the law enforcement. Please help us because we need to pick out those persons who are causing the issues and we the police are going to deal with them, promised B. Put. We have arrested a number of persons who were allegedly involved in some of the incidents. Lucy Mayor, Sheridan Samuels, who is the chairman of the HMC, and his deputy Adriana Donegrand, both called for the police high command to beef up the number of police personnel in the parish to boost their capacity to go after the criminals. It is like a competition going on here with the shootings in this parish, says Samuels. I am so embarrassed and ashamed to know that one of the safest divisions in the parish 
is losing its title as the safest place to be, said Samuels, regarding the Cordwell Division, which he represents as counselor. Crash hot spots to receive rumble strips. Three years in Hanover, where numerous traffic crashes have occurred over recent years, are to be filled out with rumble strips on Labor Day as part of the overall effort to get motorists to reduce their speed and make the roads in the parish safer. Rumble strips are slightly elevated patches of roadway that are placed across the street to create a bump when motorists drive over them. Its primary purpose is to force drivers to reduce their speed and also to create awareness and attentiveness. Lucy Mayor Sheridan Summers, who is also the chairman of the Hanover Municipal Corporation, told last Thursday's meeting of the corporation that the three roads to be impacted are Watson Taylor Drive in Lucy, a section of the Point Road, and a section of Alston King Highway. We're looking at pedestrian crossing, street signs, but the main Labor Day project is the placing of the rumble strips along the three roadways, said Samuels. He explained that the theme for Labor Day is plant a tree for life, promoting climate change, mitigation, food security, and wood safety. The locations that we have identified to put those strips are really at areas where we have a lot of accidents over the years. Watson Taylor Drive in the vicinity of the Hanover Park Library at Point, Lucy in the vicinity of Grand Palladium Hotel, and along the Alston King Highway on the stretch of road between the Round Hill Hotel and the Great River Bridge, said Samuels. We will be putting them on both sides of the road in each location. He added, we are in contact with the National Works Agency, NWA, to find out how soon we can get them rumble strips in. But we want to actually start the process, and we are putting the prep work in place, and I can tell you, it is going to happen. Rumble strips are going to be at those locations. Superintendent Chenby put the police commander for Hanover and acting superintendent O'Neill Neal of the Hanover Division of the Jamaica Fire Brigade are among the persons who have been calling for the installation of rumble strips at the so-called black spots. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell.